Hello, and welcome to Merrick's Garage. Here I have my M1101A3 Humvee military trailer. Really, really excited about this stage of my build. It presents tremendous opportunity to take Truckosaurus, my K30 Blazer, out where I want to take it, but also bring the family along with all the tent, camping, cooking, and bathrooms that we're gonna need to go for an extended period of time out into the backcountry. I looked at a lot of different platforms and possibilities before I settled on the M1101 platform. This is a trailer that I can use to go camping one weekend, move furniture, and do dump trips the next weekend. What I've done to it so far, as you will see, I've painted it. It's just a rattle can, but in my experience, certain rattle can jobs, if applied correctly, can be very long lasting and look good. I've also added down here my KM2 38 inch BF Goodrich. Those are the tires that were on Truckosaurus until I got a flat in one of them, but now with the wagon wheels, they match the truck ride height pretty nicely. Finally, I've set about building my rack platform. This is going to be the sleeping platform, observation deck, luggage rack, doubles our storage space in the trailer. I've built the rack so it will be telescoping, but at this point, it's still a work in progress. I've got some bugs to work out, but I'm pretty stoked on how it's coming together. The opportunity to access more of the bed when this part raises to its full height, I'm gonna be using a product called U-Pole Raptor. This is a spray-on bed liner that I can apply in my driveway using my compressor to get me a tough, semi-industrial truck bed liner. Let's see how it does and how easy it goes on. Already gone ahead and prepped the bed as much as I can. The U-Pole is a two-part system consisting of the liner and a hardener mixed at about an eight to one ratio. I have four pots of this and one of these, roughly enough to spray this bed, I hope. It came with this gun. Very cool, very easy to use. Make sure that you set your compressor. If you don't have a inline regulator in your hose, set your regulator on your tank to about 50 PSI. That's the flow rate that they're looking for. Anything higher, you're probably gonna be blasting it all over the place. Finally, wear a mask. Uh, let's start spraying and see if I can get this all over my hands. Just to give you an idea of the coverage you're gonna get, this was four. I decided to do the top rail all the way down. They have a nice hard line. Texture's good. Nothing too rough, but there is some uh, some texture to it. It's been about a week now, and the finish still looks great. Long term, we'll have to see what the durability is like, but at this point, I'm really excited with how things have turned out. Good coverage, good color, good texture. I have a new website up, merricksgarage.com. It's more of a blog where I put more frequent posts up with day-to-day -day things that I'm doing on the truck and on the trailer. Hope you check it out, like it. As always, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take it easy.